Hello and welcome to our We Choose to Thrive Bootcamp video series. My name is Kaylin Ravenzi. And I'm Becky Norwood. And we're getting pretty good at saying this too, by golly. <laughs> <laughs> and we are the founders of Women Up International, a platform for abuse survivors and thrivers to continue to find help and healing wherever they are at along their healing journey. Now, today's video is about learning to forgive ourselves, our perpetrators, and those who did not protect us and should have. And, you know, forgiveness is a really key element to our healing journey. So, Becky, do we really want to forgive? And I want to ask this whole big question to you. And if no, what does it do to our mind and our body and soul? And if we do choose to forgive, what changes have women experienced who have gone through the forgiveness process, including yourself? Share with, that, with us, if you would, please. Forgiveness is something we do for ourselves. Yes, absolutely. You know, forgiveness, you know, for myself, to forgive my father, he's passed away, mom passed away, to forgive all anybody that's in the family that, that didn't protect, that knew, is such a big thing. But big, you know what? You've got to forgive yourself, too. Yeah. And forgiveness is something that is so vital and so important and so crucial yeah. to, to healing. It's healing, a key element. It is a key, key element to healing. Yeah, and really, uh, if to forgive yourself is to love yourself yeah. enough to heal. You know, forgive. Forgiveness is something that it doesn't mean that we forget because then we lose the value of what we've learned from all of that. Mm, beautiful. But but the the forgiveness is something that is so vitally key to to overcoming and. Forgiving the perpetrators is the right thing to do, yeah. but but deeper, way deeper than that is forgiving ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's been interesting because I've seen family members that um, have really consciously chosen not to forgive mm. um, and forgive others or themselves, and I've just literally seen how it just it, it pulls apart relationships, it pulls apart hearts, it pulls apart lives, and the pain is so deep and, and creviced in. And, and when they start to learning to forgive themselves and, and choose consciously to go finally after many years, go down that, that path of healing, it's that crevice gets filled up and it's filled with love. And then what happens then is those relationships are brought back together and they're mended and they're healed and it's beautiful. And, and I don't care where we're at in our lives, forgiveness in every aspect of a human's life is critical. And I think especially for um, someone who has been abused. Well, you know, you said something interesting there, and we need to put this in perspective because yeah. forgiving what we're, is something we are doing for ourselves, and maybe the perpetrator never knows about the forgiveness because maybe they don't want to hear about it, and not always will they accept. Absolutely. And so there's a part where we need to protect ourselves, too, yeah. because mm -hmm. it may not be something that we can go and say to them. Yeah. Um, and so, because it may not even be the safe thing to do. Oh, so, that is true. so that forgiveness, is very true. so the forgiveness, if you can do that within the confines and if there's opportunities to, to, to go, maybe, maybe not even the perpetrator, but the family members that didn't protect or whatever, yeah. um, that's all one thing, but you also have to guard yourself and protect yourself if, if going to the perpetrator and saying something is not conducive to um, safety and everything yeah. else that's one thing but in our hearts and in our minds yes. that forgiveness and because lack of forgiveness is like this festering boil yeah. that that can erupt mm -hmm. and the ickiness that comes from that is not something a good visual but the forgiveness is, is taking away all of those things because mm -hmm. forgiveness even, lack of forgiveness even affects our health. Oh, oh, physically. We, we can become very sick. The body physiologically 
transforms into that yuckiness because those are some seriously painful feelings that we're harboring. Well, and as we harbor those, it needs a place to release. And well, what I've learned to, gives yeah, us that. I've learned for myself that I've been a very pretty much healthy person, but where I carried my pain was in my stomach. And so I mm. had a very big tummy. Mm -hmm. And not something that I really enjoy. You know, yeah. But I've also seen other women that get fibromyalgia, that get yes. a lot of autoimmune diseases. Yes. And the core of that mm -hmm. is the deepness of being a victim and, a sh yes. and the shame yes. and the un inability to get to the point of forgiveness. Yes. And as I've watched it with my very own eyes, my stomach is starting to to to, to, to go away. Um, it's still there, but it's it's not like it was. Um, Isn't that so beautiful? My overall health is amazing. And I've watched other women who have got tremendous autoimmune diseases. And as they begin the healing process and as they begin to, to come into their own power, many of these diseases are starting to, yeah. to dissipate. You know? so beautiful. And it can go very deep. It can be so deep into the cells. Yeah. And sometimes we need help to do those things. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes we're incapable of actually reaching the depth of it um, within ourselves. Well, that's why we're here. And that's, that's why you and I and, and our organization and, and the reason that, that we are doing this, this We Choose to Thrive boot camp video series is to know that you're not alone. That, that these women are not alone in their healing journey, and we're here to help them know that, that there is resources, there is support, there is love, there's community, there is, you there know, is. education, there's all of this that, that we are just excited to be able to be a part of in helping them to, you know, go through that forgiveness portion and be able to heal mind, body, and spirit. Well, you know, from this process, I've, I've been able to discover kind of a toolkit and it's an internal toolkit that, oh, yes. that I use. And that's some of the things that we will be teaching as we go along, is this is a toolkit on kind of a, not a religious, but more of a spiritual oh, aspect mm -hmm. of it. And, and it goes deep into understanding the makings of what the vibrational flow is in, in through our body and how to rise above situations, yeah. how to forgive on the topic of forgiveness. But, but, as you begin to take this path, you change the, even the way the cells of your body respond. Yes. Okay, now we're literally talking quantum physics here is yeah. what we're talking. And it is just such a beautiful thing because every human being is created from the same stuff. And at the subatomic level, when we're talking quantum physics, when we're able to take a look at that, it literally is, there's not matter that's attached to the subatomic level. It is pure energy, and that's the vibration. So as we've been talking throughout this video series about uh, vibrational frequencies and energy, every single thing has an energy to it because it's all made of the same subatomic particle, it's just going to be dependent upon how dense it is, and our bodies are, are, are dense, a rock is more dense, all right? So when we're talking about this, being able to vibrate at a forgiveness frequency, really, it heals the body. And so like, like when we get a cut, what does our body do? We put stuff on it, and it mends itself. When we have a, a, a pain in our heart, we start applying forgiveness, and it mends itself. Our bodies are amazing, totally oh, amazing. Oh, it's just and glorious. Then, most of us haven't been brought up or even known we have that toolkit within us. It's true. And as we been, begin to discover it, it is so totally amazing, the beauty of what is able to happen yeah. from that. You know, I want to share something with uh, with you and our, our our watchers, our viewers here today. There was a segment that Steve Hartman did on um, one of the news stations a few years back, and it was the most beautiful thing. There was this woman in Minnesota whose son, it was her only child, he was murdered at the age of 20 by a, a person who was 16 years old. This boy had gone into jail to be in there for life, and as time went on, she needed to go and tell him that she forgave him. 
she went to the prison, she sat down with him, and she said, I want you to know that I forgive you for what happened. And he says, and I love his, he goes, I was so befuddled when she said this to me, <laughs> you know, and, but here's what's even more. This is what she says. She says, you have to understand. She's telling Steve Hartman this. You have to understand the forgiveness was for me. It was for me so I could heal. But here's what's so beautiful. Oh, I just get chills thinking about it. It was time for him to be on parole. And she talked to her landlord because he needed a place to live. And the apartment right next door was open. And she allowed, she says, I want him to live here. He's now her adopted son. And she, they go to church together. They, they do all different types of things together. He's in school. He's in college. But the beautiful thing is, is he's going on the road and he's talking to people about what it means to be forgiven and to forgive. Mm -hmm. And you talk about this beautiful thing that's happened because of forgiveness, because a woman wow. chose that to That is forgive. powerful. That Isn't is it? so powerful. I just, every time I see it or think about it, I just, I'm so deeply moved because that's the power, the true power. That's that amazing power. Yeah. Gives us. And, and this lady was correct. You do it for yourself. Yes. You know, yes. and yes, it, it typically radiates out to affect many, many lives and oh. even the lives of the perpetrator. But oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And now look at this. He's, he's now going and he's speaking in prisons about this forgiveness and, and helping other inmates be able to choose to forgive themselves and to ask forgiveness of those that they abused, that they hurt, that they, you know, their families that they harmed. And it is just such a beautiful, beautiful thing. So really when it comes to forgiveness is we can expect to feel that we are going to, to have this vibrant life, this beautiful opportunity to, to live in a way that we never thought was possible. So It's a tribute to the human spirit. It is. It is a tribute to the human spirit. So. Thank you so very much. Our next video focuses on the ultimate power of love, loving ourselves and finding the beauty in each of our lives. This too is critical to the healing process and learning to vibrantly thrive. So from Becky and I, thank you for joining us here at Women Up International where <laughs> women choose to vibrantly thrive. Once again, if you have found this helpful, we encourage you to continue your healing journey through the power of our vibrantly thriving formula where steps are broken down to help each of you, regardless of the abuse, to empower your healing journey and choose to vibrantly thrive. Thank you for joining us here today. We choose to vibrantly thrive. We Woo! choose to vibrantly thrive. <laughs> Woohoo! Yes, we do. <laughs> Thank you.